Hello everybody, it's Everall Level 4 for another mission episode. Today we're going to be doing the uh, Peacekeeping Troops missions, which uh, are from that uh, Shinra uh, captain that we saw earlier. Uh, first challenge from security. Members of the security department have requested a joint training session with soldiers. Some of them have seen, seem to regard soldiers with a passionate sense of rivalry. It's only a training session, but don't take it lightly. Uh, this one is going to be pretty easy. Uh, it's going to be a group of six missions, and... Um, yeah, that's why this is going to be a short episode. I'm just doing these missions because it's in between the uh, the last episode. But uh, yeah, it's going to be sped up as usual. Uh, the enemies here are pretty easy. This is just a Stormtrooper and Corporal. 538 health and 782 respectively. Um, there are two chests in the, uh, uh, in the map. One is a Remedy and one is an X Potion. Yeah, that's the first one. There we go. And the remedy is on the way. <laughs> the map I have here labels the boss as being in an area that is blocked off. I don't really know how that works, but okay. But anyway, the boss here is just really easy. You just... Same with everybody else. It's a mix of uh, the corporals and stormtroopers. It's a mix... Same with everybody else. You just keep hitting them. And you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, so here we get one of the uh, the DMW. We got to level up, yay! We got the DMW go on to the summon mode. Unfortunately, we didn't get it for it, but uh, that's just how that works, just randomly sometimes. Uh, but we win. And these ones get dialogue afterwards. I concede that we lost in today's training. <sighs> but our troops are a little more than rook. Little, we're little more than rookies with hardly any real combat experience. Do not expect the same results next time. Sheesh. And we get the Shinra Alpha, an amazing piece of armor. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Let's say. Yay, new mission. Yeah, so the um, missions get moderately more, more difficult, but not by much. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Shinra Alpha is vitality plus 40, so that's going to replace our bulletproof vest. So our defense is really nice right now. Anyway, time for the second challenge. Members of the security department have requested another joint training session with a soldier. They have robots to support them this time. Proceed with caution. Once again, this episode is post-commentary and sped up, as you can hopefully tell. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this has just one chest in it with an X potion. And the boss is just right up ahead there. Uh, here you're going to be fighting a bunch of red saucers as a, uh, in addition to the corporal. The red saucers have 570 health, they're pretty weak, but they can use uh, like electric moves on you. So I would suggest damnation, not a loss to soldier, I would suggest killing them first. We were holding back, treating this as only a training session, but we won't anymore. The day of our third joint training session shall be a day of shame for soldier. Yeesh. Now that we get the silence materia, which I'm probably not going to use. Silence is exactly what it sounds like. It, it casts the silence status. Enemies can't use magic. <laughs> Nothing special there, sorry. <laughs> and on to the third mission. The third challenge. Members of the security department have requested yet another joint training session with a soldier. A statement from the Marines we were holding back in the previous sessions. They're desperate and may do anything to save face. Be careful. Dovey was going a little fast when he was playing this. I need time to read, darn it. Anyway, there's uh, two chests here. One has an elixir, which you have to go back for, and the other has a high potion. Um, I would suggest going back for that elixir, because it's not too hard to just turn around. And it's a good night. It's a good item. If you don't know, it restores HP and MP to max. So yeah, the boss is on the far side of the uh, map. Once again, it's the same exact enemies. The same ones. Let's see. Yay. Yep, it's just the, once again, two corporals and uh, two red saucers. Later! Later, Gator. Sorry. So, we have yet to win against you in training. Uh... But I know why that is. It's a difference of budgets between soldier and security. Science department operates on you guys, and soldier make you into who you are. 
Huh, we in security department don't depend on medical enhancements to win. Jerk. Anyway, we get the four slots out of that, which is a recurring item from uh, the original game. Uh, originally, it g had four materia slots on it. This time, it just gives you vitality and spirit uh, plus five, and that's it. Not entirely worth it, honestly, um, at least for my uses here. Anyway, on to the fourth challenge. Getting serious. The persistent members of the security department have sent Soldier another challenge to a joint training session, making excuses they claim the difference in budgets between the departments to be the reason for their losses. Go show them exactly why we are combat experts. Okay, now... For a bit of a change, the enemies are exactly the same. <laughs> Literally. Uh, there are two... Um, two treasures here. One has a Soma and the other one it has a high potion in it. The high potion is like right on top of the boss. You just have to go in a circle. You can't really miss him. You know, I really shouldn't have sped up the music. I really like the music for the slums, but once again the boss is just the corporals. Just a whole bunch of corporals. Yay! Um, they can use like a grenade attack on you, so it is important to just, I don't know, maybe spam them with Fyra or something, but like I've said in the past, swords work so much. <laughs> we have finally something to show after our negotiations for a new budget. Oh? So what, was this just a fight or something? You gonna press A there, Dovey? Yeah? Dovey fell asleep. We received orders from Director Heidegger to test Shinra's new weapons in combat. Ooh. <laughs> There's no way we're losing now. Sure, 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 sure. But anyway, we got the force bracelet out of that. The force bracelet is actually pretty nice. I don't remember if I equip it, but we'll see in a moment. Maybe you should remember what you edited like two minutes ago, Dovey. Good job. Uh, but yeah, the force bracelet, magic and spirit plus five. We do not equip it because I don't need magic in magic defense. Only time for armed challenge. Members of the security department have sent soldiers and other challenge to a joint training session. See as they've succeeded in securing funds have new weapons at their disposal. We and soldier never blame a loss on the budget. Win the session and teach them the meaning of dignity. For great justice. Okay, this map is a bit bigger than before. Uh, we have a potion, a high potion, and a remedy. And aside from the potion, they're all horrifically out of the way. And even more good news, we actually have new enemies in this one! Yay! <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's still kind of a joke. As you can see, the enemies are robots. Those are called Sweeper Pluses. There's a lot of things in this game that's just name and then a plus sign. Do I get into a battle here? No. It's just name and plus sign, and I just find that funny. I think I hit a battle over here, though. Somewhere. No? Okay. I was wrong! And now we just have to run all the way back. It's 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 worth it to get these items, because they're free, and as long as you hug the walls and know how to game the system in that way, it really doesn't hurt you. And you can just retry the missions. And you don't get the treasures again, but you can just retry the missions if you fail, so... But uh, we have a boss here, two sweeper pluses, each one has 3300 health, and all you really got to do is get behind them. Uh, lightning is really not necessary. Uh, they can silence you with the silence gas, and uh, that can be pretty nasty, but as long as you, you know, get behind them, as I said, and uh, either interrupt them by, uh, interrupt them by hitting them, or just, you know, focus on one at a time, uh, you'll be good. Or just don't have magic for them to silence. But here we get a new phase modulation with, uh... Whoa! What's the matter? Yeah, with Angeal. I was looking around for Materia, and now I'm late for my assignment! I see. If you're on assignment, where's your sword? <laughs> Ever the restless puppy. Yay! More DMW images! And we get... Fun Times Rush Assault Level 4 with Angeal. Prove your honor to me. Yeah! I got it. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
。啊，对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对对。He's dead. <laughs> He is very dead. <laughs> what do you got to say about that? Another loss, even with Shinra's new weapons. What is it? What could be missing? Fine, the next training session shall be the last. If we lose, then I shall concede that soldiers indeed Midgar's premier combat organization. And for that, we get an ice omelet. It has ice damage. Surprise! I bet you guys didn't see that one coming. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But yeah, we have one more mission with that. The last challenge. Members of the security department on a losing streak have yet again challenged soldiers to a joint training session. They have used up their entire budget on this one. We know we have had way too many of these, but this one, this one is sure to be the last. Savor it for what it is. Okay, this one can actually be tough. You got the corporals uh, as normal enemies. We've got uh, these things called flying machines, which I hate. And sweeper pluses are also normal enemies. Uh, we only have two uh, two treasures here, the elixir and the soma. And the boss is just a straight path, so just hug the walls once again, avoid all the enemies, and you'll be good. And this boss is actually an enemy that we haven't seen yet. An arachno, which is kind of like a guard spider. Essentially, you get behind it and you attack its tail. Don't use thunder, it's just stupid. Um, but yeah, you just keep attacking its tail. It's going to use this EM field, which does a ton of damage. What you want to do is, after you do like two or three combos on its tail, you just hold guard and it reduces each hit by, you know, 90%, as you can see. It goes from, from doing 100 damage to about 10, so... Uh, Spiderweb will cast stop on you, so you want to just r keep rolling around out of the way. If you stay in front of it, it's going to use um, its like gun attacks, and that's just going to be bad. This thing has 25, uh, 28,400 health, so the battle is going to take a while, but if you are you know, even mildly leveled, you should be able to do about 500 damage per critical on its tail, and uh, you know that's 50 hits. It's still a lot, but it's... You know, the thing isn't killing you if you're guarding properly. So yes, you actually have to try for this battle! Oh no! If you're lucky, you'll get a whole bunch of um, phase modulations. Unfortunately, some of us aren't that lucky. But we do get another bulletproof vest out of that, which I'm not going to be using. And a fat chocobo feather! I for totally forgot what it does, but yeah. Um, that's going to be it for this episode, because now you just go talk to the corporal. We'll see you next time! Goodbye, everybody! Bye-bye.